Porta Court, are you ready to play? You cannot be sitting down by this time. This is 4 p.m. It's time for prayer. Your heart will crack today because the edges of prayer, they, they will fill this building. You don't know what you came to do if you know. Hey! hey! Play for me, play for me. Find a neighbor, find a neighbor, three, three. You are good. I want to drill you. I came to drill you. You cannot come all the way from where you are coming from. And you go on the same. Every man here must strive. You must start to carry something. We pay the price. It's priesthood. Aye! Can we pray? Aye!
sister pray. Carry me, carry me by prayer. Carry me.
Nobody! Nobody! Oh, Spirit! Nobody! Ah! 
Woo! <laughs> 
Jesus baptized May we be baptized into power
Needs power. You don't know your true humanity until you receive power. We thought that Peter was a weak man until the day Peter received power. There are many things that have confronted you. There was no power to tackle it. When Peter was faced by a little girl, Peter was afraid. He denied Jesus. There was no power available. But before the departure of Jesus, he told them to carry. Carry her in Jerusalem. There was a need for power. There was a need for equipment. This man that we are weak without power. Jesus knew that this man, there must be something that will come upon them. Power, 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 
Never power. Never power. They are coming. They are coming. Don't you be like this. Don't you be like this. Don't you be like this. Jesus, 
Joseph, the river of power will stop up. Glorious.
Pray for one minute. Pray for one minute. Stop the sound. Stop the sound. Pray, pray. One more minute. One more minute. One more minute. Ah! Aya! Put that cup, bro. I will not end like this. You came from far places. You can't go without power. If I you, I will buy time here to fetch power from the crucibles of God.
Christ, I will pray. Your pastor is waiting. Your campus is waiting. Listen to me. I need 20 men that understands the burden in the act of God. Whether inside your heart overflow, that we run to this front so that we can pray. Come and occupy here. When I mean men, I mean both female and men. Jesus said, For men are the Lord supreme and not to fight. My destiny is ready. What kind of trick is a bomb upon a What can 
We cannot be lessing our generation. Look at this mother in the front, praying and traveling. Young men, we don't know the matters of destiny. We are too casual. We give you excuses. You come, you say you're up today, and you're down tomorrow. Nonsense. It's prayer. You don't know. You don't know the way of the altar. Well, we born. We rule by priesthood. Prayer is grim. is priesthood. Prayer. Prayer. Prayer is dominion. Prayer is power. Young man. Young women. Why can't we pray? Oh. That is all that in my heart. Ah. Ah. Push! Push! Yes! The baby is about to come out! Push! Straight to give birth! Push! Yes! I see pregnant! Pregnant women! Pregnant men! With the bodies for Portacourt! With the bodies for Africa! With the bodies for Nigeria! Push! We 
rise in Africa. He will rise. There is fire rising in Portacom. We are at the mouth of the power. Revival is calling. This is the season of martial arts power. All to us the time is born. All to us the time is given. All to us the sun is given. And governments shall be upon his shoulders. He shall be called the counselor. Wonderful. The king of glory. Emmanuel. All the world, all the world is calling on him. Pray. Emmanuel. Maranatha. Maranatha. Come, come. But I got this word. Come, come. But I got this word. Come, come. Oh, cross me fire. So I put my cross in Is calling on you. I hear the sounds of the fire. I hear the sounds of fire. I hear the sound of rushing water. The blood, the sound. Oh, for the silence, for the silence. They pray, they pray, they pray. The and the Holy Ghost came down. Power came down. Prison gate was broken because power. He's calling on Listen to me now. There are servants of power and there are princes of power. Apostle was saying yesterday, he said that it is not like the demons in your family and the territory, they are not recognizing that you have power. But the same power you have, they have that same power. The only thing that can that can take them out of their place is that that power becomes a great power. Are you with me? Not everybody is supposed to make this prayer. Eh? Since I see you are tired, you can go and sit down. You are going to cry out to God because the scripture said, listen, I was reading my scriptures and I saw the difference between the man that that was that that was sick and before the pool for years, when the difference between that man and Jesus, when Jesus came to the man and said, "That would you want to be made whole?" The man said, "Do I have no one?" Then in the time when Jesus also needed help, he called the three of his disciples and he said, "Join me, join me to pray." The scripture said that they were unable to pray, but he did not stop Jesus from crying out for help. Jesus went back and he cried out for help. Maybe you don't have men to help you. Eh? If you don't have men to help you, go back. Me, I know I don't have men to help me, but I have God to hear me. I will cry out my soul. I will cry out my life. 
unto help comes from heaven. Unto help, unto help, unto help. Hear my cry. Listen to me now. Listen to me. Stand up. Stand up. If you're on the ground, stand up. I see the angels of God marking the faces of men. <laughs> when my brother was praying, Seem as if you heard a trumpet like this. The Lord is going to mark 14 persons here. As we pray now, something strong will come on you. Are you ready? But that God, are you ready? Oh my God, oh my God. Father, we enter the chambers of power. The 
Conduite par son power. Conduite maintenant. Mantia Fessis. Mantia Fessis. Mantia Fessis. Aïe, 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 aïe,
In Jesus' name. I need you to put your left hand on your stomach and raise your right hand. When I shout number one, you shout power. People at the overflow, are you following? No, don't be left behind. You can be outside, but you are standing in front of this place. We bring every money to the river. Every man must get drunk. Set the cup of water. Break the cup of water. Oh God! We know we need power to survive. Give us power or we die. Do you need power? As you shout power, the hand of God will come. The hand of God will come upon three persons and you have a flow. Are you ready? Oh Jesus. No power. Listen to me now. Listen to me. Rafa. Rafa. You know the water in your reservoir is finished and you are still at the back. Come to the river and take over. When I say number two, you shout and receive power. Are you with me for that God? Number two! Mark their faces and jobs. Mark their faces and jobs. Help them. Help them. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Number three! Yes, 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 yes. Straight for your eyes and put upon us, Holy Ghost. Number four. <laughs> when you return, they will know a prince arrived. your hand on your head. No Holy Ghost, you can't leave me like this. You can't, you can't. You can't. You can't leave me like this. No, you can't. I'm not here to, to leave prayer. I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm here to collect my own. You must give me something. Say, say, say. When we shout, when I say number seven, you shout. I receive power and you cry for power. I need power. I need 
your power. I need your power. I need your power. I need your power. I need your power. I need your power. I need your power. I need your power. I need your power. Are you ready now? And so you touch the shoulder of your neighbor. And so you touch the shoulder of your neighbor. I will hold the hands of this young man now. And so you are connected. the trumpet. Chambers of power. 
for power. The weapons, weapons of war. You can have your seat. Oh, secret place. I am. Oh, I am. Exodus chapter 2. I want to show us something. I want to show us something. Oh my God. You can have your seat. Don't much break up. Keep the engine running. After some time, if it seems as if it's getting cold, eh? you, you, you throttle again, throttle, throttle, throttle. Sup, 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 sup. Have your seat. Are you there? That's what those chapter two. Oh my God! Are you there? Let me hear you. Are you there? I said those chapter two. When my father and the Lord spoke, it seemed as if something entered me. Entered me. Entered me. And then my brother, Budosa, was, he was praying. What I saw, it seemed as if they used me and then put in the mouth of a big trumpet and he was blowing it. He was blowing it. Exodus chapter 2. Verse 11. Exodus chapter 2. Verse 11. Are you there? Fifteen minutes. I want us to join me after five minutes. 
journey after five minutes. Are we there? I want us to read it together. Can we read it together? Can we read it together? Yes, yes please respond to me. Let's read it together. One, two, go. And it came to pass in those days when Moses was grown that he went out unto his brethren and looked on their bodies and he spied an Egyptian smiting an Hebrew, one of his brethren. And he looked this way and that way. And when he saw that there was no man, he slew the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. For 13. And when he went out the second day, behold, two men of the Hebrews strove together. And he said unto them, that did the, that, and he said to him that did the wrong, wherefore, smitest thou thy fellow? And he said, who made thee a prince and a judge over us? Are you reading your scriptures? We'll stop here and continue. You need to understand this particular question. Eh? When, you, when you read this thing, you think that this question is coming from just his brethren. Eh? I can tell you, I know, that this particular question came from the princes of the territory. He said, who made you what? A prince and a judge. So for us to go over what is happening now, you need to understand this, that Moses is somebody that from where he was born, the book of Hebrews let us to know that by faith, the parents believed that Moses was the one to fulfill the promise of God, the prophecies that have lingered for years. Are you with me? Are you with me? Please just follow me. I need your response. People at the overflow, can you hear me? If you can hear me, say hallelujah. God bless you. Say, Moses was the, they believe that Moses is the one carrying the fulfillment of the prophecy that is, that have been lingering amongst and in the land of Israel. Are we together? Yes. And then, they began to believe God for their deliverer. Eh? They began to believe God that Moses becomes their deliverer. Because God said, I will come. They began to cry. They began to pray. They began to cry. They began to pray. And then this Moses, from where he was growing up, uh, the parents, I don't, I don't want to go over the story, but it happened that the mother was still the one that nurtured him and trained him. So in the time of nurturing, they were telling him, eh? say, look at, look at, look at who you are. You are a deliverer. You need to understand, for us to understand this particular thing, eh? I will need to tell you about my story. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Moses, they were telling him that you are a deliverer. You are a deliverer. Say, don't forget that God wants to use you. Don't forget what God wants. Have they not told you before? Eh? Whether you answer me or not, eh? I know they've told you. Why are you here? Why are you here? Some of us are here because we are tired of what is happening to us and our family. We have seen men rise in our family and then the devil has brought them down like they were nothing. And we are tired of it. The scripture said, and when Moses had grown, you see, when I saw that scripture, I now knew that when I saw that statement had grown, I knew that there was something wrong with Moses. So Moses thought that he had grown. I want to tell you my story. But when I, when I grew up and started having sense, eh? are you with me? When I grew up and started having sense, my mother began to tell me how that she was in, in labor for, for up to two weeks. And before she gave birth to me, it seemed as if one of the day, the doctor came and told her, Madam, that this one is the last chance. Eh? Say, if, you, if this one doesn't happen, we will need to, it will be 50 50. You see that your baby is alive. Oh, you are alive. Are you getting what I'm saying? Are you getting what I'm saying? And then that day, my mother began to cry. She said she was crying. She was crying. I'm telling you the story that she told me. And then she told God, say, if my baby and me come out alive, eh, I will give this son to you. It's, I, I'm giving him to you. Are you getting what I'm saying? Some of us, yeah, the same thing happened to us. Am I lying? Some, our parents, they were with that child for years. And then they came and said, if you give me one child, just one child, just like Hannah. 
Say, I will give that child to you. And then, and then immediately they said it. Heaven said, Amen. Aye. Please forgive me before I forget. My brothers and sisters are here. I celebrate you, men of God. They are my brothers. Are you with me now? Are you with me now? And then, the, when, when she told me that thing, she told me from when I began to have sense. So she was telling me, say, you are not like other children. Have they told you that thing before? Sometimes she will see me playing outside with my, with my, my age mates and then she will come inside. She will cane me. My father will flog me. I was telling them, I was telling some of my people how that my father disciplined me. When they checked the prophecy upon my life, eh, and then I began to misbehave, they, my father disciplined me, oh my God. Then I was thinking it was suffering. It was when I began to grow and then and I saw that it's blessing. It's blessing. Some of the time he would tie me like this and he would cane me, cane me. Eh? I didn't know. I didn't know that it was because of the prophecy lying upon my head. So when I began to grow, I said, okay, that I need to start giving myself to the things of God early. I was tender then. I joined the prayer unit of my church. Praise God. You need to understand what I'm trying to tell you. What I'm trying to tell you is what played out in Exodus chapter 2. And these things have played out in your life, but you don't know. You don't know, so you need to listen to what I'm saying and then begin to trace your steps. There is a place that is calling on us. And then I joined the prayer unit of my church. So, when we are praying every Friday night, we pray and we fast and we pray. We'll be praying. Sometimes we go on fast. Sometimes we go on two days fast, three days fast. And we'll be praying. After praying with that, with the whole thing on me, I will come to my family in the night. I will pray in tongues, pray in tongues. And say, say today, I, I bind on the principalities in my family. And when I sleep in the night, eh, a snake that has the head of a snake and the head of a lion will appear to me and press me in the night. I will wake up in the morning so battered. I'll be wondering, are you sure? Are you sure I'm even engaging this in, in the spirit? Are you sure I'm doing anything? Every time it will happen, every time it will happen. Every time it will happen. I was wondering. I was wondering. Are you with me? Some of us, some of the time we stood, we came to eternity and said, Today we command all the principalities of this territory, and then they they struck us with lust. They struck us with immorality. They struck us. Daddy, you're welcome, sir. They struck, they struck us with immorality. They struck us with heavy lust. You see, some of you, you are smiling because you're understanding what I'm saying. Are you with me? You know, you don't used to see damsels and notice damsels until the day you came to your campus and said, now we stand in the gate of this campus and we command on the principalities. Gather this and let us bind it together. And the day you said it, they heard you and bind they, they had to bind you together. Are you getting what I'm saying? Some of us came to a point in our, in our, in our life while we were in school and we failed the exam. We repeated classes. We didn't know what was happening. Eh? He said that there was no prophecy upon our life. You are not hearing what I'm saying. He said that there was no prophecy upon our life. What was happening? Just like Moses. The question that they usually ask us each time we come and make such decrees, they will appear to us. Who made thee a prince? Who made thee a prince? Some of the time we come. I can remember I was an executive in my school. Daddy, we went to the five schools of, of the institution. And then every night we were praying. We would gather. Hey, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, forgive me. Hey! If I had known, maybe the reason why my life scattered is because of those things. Because some of the time when we engage like this, we feel charged, we will not come and then start saying things, saying things. Just like Moses. He, the scripture said, and where he had grown. Who told Moses he had grown? Who told you you have grown? The mothers are still managing you. They are managing you, ensuring that you grow and become a prince. You are still taking me, and then you appear just like Moses. You appear. We appear then to 
to announce to the territory, we are the deliverers. Then I used to carry a prophecy. I used to say that, that God has sent us to bring revival upon this, this territory. And then we went to the five schools. Oh my God. After we finished, after we finished binding and casting, we didn't know that what was happening was that we were, the, the decree, what was coming out of our mouth was we bind all the principalities. We bind all the evil lecturers. What was happening in the spirit was that they were binding us. The more we made decrees, they, they looked for stronger cord and then they tie us. Who gave you the right to make such decrees? This decree should come out of the mouth of princes. And they come and ask you, who made thee a prince? And they judge. Who gave you the right to bring justice upon a territory? Who gave you the right to bring justice upon your family? Who empowered you? The power you have, on whose authority do you administrate such power? And then after that time, we thought that we had, we came and then we said, oh yes. Now let it, we came and I told God, God, I have opened the way for you. Begin to let your revival flow. Let, we want to stand. I don't know if you've thought about this thing. Then I say, I want to get to the ATM machine. And when I stand close to people, let them fall under power. Let them begin, let them begin to cry for their life because we read the book of some revivalists. And then we saw that some of them receptionists looked into their eyes and saw Jesus and began to cry. Jasmine, he said he walked into a factory and then one of the ladies saw him, saw him, made a, made a gesture and he walked down and looked into the eyes of the lady. When he looked into his eyes, into her eyes, that she began to cry. That was how revival came to that factory. When we read those things, we began to pray. All our prayer, we are not praying, say, Lord, make us. We are not praying, say, Lord, make me, keep me in the secret place. Make me, cook me, make me, cook me. We didn't know. We were all interested to be sent forth. Meanwhile, the statement of the scripture is that Jesus told them that they may do what? Be with him. So we were not concerned about the being with Jesus. Because in the being with Jesus, that is where praises are made. What we were concerned about is that we will be sent forth. So some of the time we want to be sent forth as babes. Then they brought disunity amongst us. Brought, brought lost immorality. Escos began to sleep with members. Members began to sleep with members. We were crying, we were praying. We could not help it. It's not like we, li we liked what we were doing, but we were captives. Do you know what it means for somebody to be a captive? A young man came to me here one of the days when we were praying. We were praying and he walked in. He was crying. I said, what is the problem? He said, sir, say, I don't know that the way my life is now, eh? if I continue in this path, I'm going, I may die. I said, what is the problem, sir? He said that the spirit of immorality is on me so strong. I can't help it. The only time I recognize myself, I realize myself is that when I'm done. Once I'm done. Once I'm done ejaculating, I realize. I realize that I have some, I have I have some of the time I even want to engage in these things, and something will be telling me they will be calling me Oga. Oga! Dennis! The mothers will be shouting my name. Dennis! And I'll be saying, if I if I perish, I perish. When I looked at him, I understood I was able to relate with him because these were the things that they bump. You don't understand what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is that we cried for help, there was no help. And then the Moses, Moses, when they asked him that question, it dawned on him that he was a babe. Meanwhile, before this time, before the question, the previous verse was that when Moses had grown, he now knew that, Omo, I left milk and I'm taking strong meat. His teeth were fell off. And then he ran away because the princes of Egypt were now looking for him to kill him. And he ran away into the wilderness. That was when he realized himself. Eh? Just as the scripture says that as the deer pants after the water brooks, eh? so my soul longs after thee. So we will be thinking that eh, Moses realized that the question. 
my mama one day was preaching and she said that thing. She said that so people would think that the reason why uh, they dare run to the water brook is because, because he wants to drink water. She made me realize that there is a sense that the day has. Are you with me? Why the day runs to the water is that the water helps it, it helps to reduce those sense. So that other animals, the prayers, will not be able to recognize that the day is around. So for the safety of the day, he always wants to stay around the water brooks. Around the water brooks. Do you understand what I'm saying? You don't understand. What I'm trying to tell you is that if we understand the secret place, if we understand the place of making, then we'll run just like the dead. All we'll be seeking for is not power because if a man stays properly with Jesus, eh, the after result of that is that he will be endued with power. So such man doesn't need to come and cry to God, give me power. He will just realize that when he breathes his power, when he speaks his power and then God began to make Moses began to make Moses began to build Moses began to break Moses just as God is going to do us today eh? because when, I, when we were praying what I saw is that the names of men were being marked for process if any man eh? if any man my friend the Lord said that every man must have to go through the same process of his father so jesus suffered and became what is what he became every other man every other great man that we see has suffered to become my friend the lord was trying to tell hey, yeah, yeah. then i don't know if i'm permitted to say this he was telling us the other day the things that he suffered in process jesus i last said it we were not shouting say jesus that is so you knew these things he was telling us so many things eh? How that some of us found ourselves in Sabo? We, we came for three days dry. We just want to do three days dry, James, and go. And then he was telling us about his own. We now knew that no more, there is no difference. The thing is that what we are suffering, we are walking in the path of another man. It's not new. A man suffered it, and when you look at him, you will not know. You will know what the man was able to go through. He went through the making process so that other sons can come through that making process. He knew that Jesus also went through this process and he subjected himself to it. We don't want to subject ourselves to it. Moses landed the hard way. Some of us have landed the hard way. And he swore to locate the water brooks. He swore to locate God in the wilderness and cry for his life until he is being made. I don't have time. Eh? We need, I just need you to bow your heads. Say, God, please. Eh? As daddy picks this mic like this, please don't let me go like this. Oh God, bring me to the secret place. Bring me to your tempers and make me. Why am I running out? Just greet your neighbor beside you because we don't know what will happen. You might forget that somebody like this came to this meeting. 
the person will be telling you next year that he came to that apostolic invasion. He said, ah, were you in the same meeting? Me too, I was in the meeting. Where were you? He said, I'm sitting in front, the right hand side. He said, I was sitting in front, the right hand side too. The person asked him, which row? He said, second row. He said, I was in the second row too. How come we did not see? <laughs> it is because you can be caught up. If at some point in this meeting you are still aware of your natural surroundings, it means you have not been carried. Hmm? The utterances that make men, the scripture said, for holy men speak as they were carried by the Spirit. It means that the utterance that have the capacity to represent God's interest has to be spoken at the point of carriage. That is what it means to be an oracle. An oracle. You communicate the mind of God the same way God would have said it if he was a human being. Then you are an oracle. For you to be an oracle, you need to be carried. Carried. For you to hear what the oracle is saying, you have to also be. You have to also be what? Else you can be in this meeting. I don't like the feedback. The whoa, whoa. You can also be in this meeting and nothing will happen. Amen. I want to do something quickly. And then we we'll see what God will do for us today. How many leaders do you have? How many leaders do you have? Four. If you are among the four, come and stand here. You come and join them. I want you to write out your prayer request as we are doing this. Write out. If you have, if you don't have, no problem. Just write out your prayer request. Ushers, move with a basket and pick the prayer request so that we we'll cry over it. Where is the remaining person? You and this table. Where is justice? Just write it down. Write, write it down. Prayer changes men. Many years ago, I started reading the accounts. I started reading the accounts of the fathers, revivalists, men that God used mighty. They have one common denominator. At some point, they got dissatisfied with the status quo because the things that they have heard and what they have read from the scripture and accounts that they have heard does not tally up with their experience. Yet you cannot deny the fact that God called you. How many of you such a thing has happened? Let me give you a simple example that you might have experienced. You are here and you are moving on the road and you saw a crippled person or mad person or something like that and then you heard a voice telling you, go and pray for the person, he will be healed. Go and pray for the person, he will be healed. How many of you, it has happened to you before? Ah, we are many. Okay. I know that many of you did not obey. But 
who are the set of people here you obeyed you obeyed you went ahead and prayed for the person raise your hand raise your hand ah, we are very few okay amongst the people that obeyed who and who had the result when you prayed the mad person was healed or the cripple walked raise your hand okay just two you see it from the many we just have two now and i want to say something Many times it's not as if what you heard, go and heal that madman or cripple is wrong. You just heard like Moses, just like everybody hears. You will be praying, praying, or you will be in a program, and suddenly you will hear a voice say, I will use you to shake Potter Court. As he's telling you, he's telling another another hundred thousand people. Hundred thousand people are hearing the same thing you are hearing. Ah. Uh, are you getting the point? Now, if you have me so far, say amen. amen. Now, we will now come into selection process. If God says that and you accept it, he will now put you into a selection process. And they will be cutting off many of you. Cutting off many of you. That thing you heard might take five, ten years to mature. Ten years. So in 10 years, they now check out of 100,000 people that they spoke to, how many are still standing? And it will just, just be about 7 people. 7 out of 100,000. Out of that 7, we will now check how many of them have lived in such a way that they merit what we are talking about. It might just be 3. Then that 3 will now be put. Now, now they have been given admission. When I got admission to UNM, I think we are the second set that wrote post UME. So, there is something that they used to write those days. I don't know if they write it now. They say, they say provisional admission. Do they still do it now? You have no bother to check what it means. They told you provisional. What, what does it mean for something to be on provisional basis? It means that your name is... Let me explain to you in normal language what it means. Your name is written with pencil. There is eraser. Close. Eraser. We can use it and clean your name very fast. It won't take time. So they will put the three. They will now start a lot of things. By this time, the three will start manifesting many things. I will not teach that class because I'm not sure you need it now. So ushers start collecting. Join your hands together. Come and stand in front. Come and stand in the middle. I will say Sister Esther still has fire now. Have you been to Newi before? Have you been to Newi before? Have you been to Newi before? Uh -huh. Justice. My guy, you, you suppose don't go far now. How many years now? We don't know. Three years. Ah. Suppose don't go far. Nobody stayed with me for one year and didn't go far. Nobody. Nobody. Who is the person? Tell me. <laughs> Close your eyes. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. On the lives of these ones, I asked for a fresh investment of grace. To administrate your purposes in this place. Let them receive, partake of the investment of grace that you have placed upon my spirit. The same spirit you placed upon me, let it come upon them in wisdom and power, in doggedness, brutal doggedness. The hand of God will come upon you at the count of three. Now, one, two, three. Touch! Leave them, leave them, leave them.
you collected it? Put it in one basket together and bring it. Philippians chapter 1, which is it? I want to tell you people a mystery sometimes. The reason why we receive things from God, I have to accept, is not because you actually have the capacity. It's not even because you are ready. It's just because you are able to pick the moment. There are moments in the spirit. Yes. If it's just because of our capacity, many of us will not really... In fact, it will be hard to get people that will measure up. But there are moments in the spirit. I don't know how many of you have read Good Morning Holy Spirit. There was a point that the man of God, Benny Hinn, was speaking about the encounter he had. He was going for a meeting. The pastor that invited him was an older man of God. Like he was more like his mentor at that point. So he invited him and said that there is such a such such meeting is happening. Um, Catherine Kuman is coming and all that. And the man of God told him, How many of you have read it? You have read it. Good. Told him that as soon as they open the door, how many of you have been to that kind of meeting before? I've been to that kind of meeting, not his own, but I've been. I went to one prayer and prophetic conference. The door opens by eight in the morning. By 4.30 a.m., all of us are at the door. Or oh, 5 a.m., if you come by 6, <laughs> you will sit at the gallery. As soon as they open the door, see the way all of us will be running. Running inside, running inside, running. In fact, me, I slept at the door in the night. I slept at the door. I slept outside. Cold entered me. I said, what is cold? Let me touch something first. Cold. Let cold stay out. The problem with many people, especially if you are young, is that they love their body too much. You love yourself too much for God to actually use you. I like that, my sister there. Ah, you see, as if many things I'm saying, God is telling you too. Mm, you love yourself too. I'm not saying you are not doing something, but you love yourself too much. Somebody saw me recently and said, Apostle, you are handsome more. I say, uh -uh. I've always known it's just that there is a way of fasting there is a way fasting will disfigure you before God will now form you back <laughs> I know sisters will not agree so I'm not talking to sisters sisters are you involved in this because I noticed that sisters want God to use them the way he's using the men but they don't want to pass through the same process they just want to be sisters with new hair with what's this new hair bone straight hair with iphone 13 whatever max and all that and then you say hallelujah and people will fall on that you are you not nothing will happen nothing <laughs> you are gonna pray with me there is a difference between praying on your own and praying with me i will drag you by the time you are leaving the prayer meeting, you will know that you died. That is your corpse they are carrying home. You have, I put it to you, you have not prayed in your life. I put it to you. Pray with me first. Join me. My, I, what I'm telling you is real. Oh. This my brothers asked them when we started the ministry. When we started, I was living in the hall like this. I lived for some time. That's where I preached all those powerful messages you are seeing. Under mat and net. I don't want to tell my story. So, one of those days, I used to ask them, have you done three days? They said, yes. Have you done four days? Have you done seven days? They say, have you done? I said, okay. All of us will do three days dry fasting together. If you do three days dry fasting with me, you will know you have not done three days dry before. There is three days dry and there is three days dry. Every three hours we pray. Every three hours we pray. 
every three hours we pray and study. Every three hours we pray. It's not fasting and sleeping. You are not with me. Let me leave it. Hmm? Fasting and checking time. The small six doses you are doing. Once, once it's 4.30 p.m. you start cooking. <laughs> Oh my God. You are, the reason why you started by you use four, go to market. Come back by 4.30, start cooking to run down the time. See, let me tell you. Are you deceiving man? Keep running down your time. God does not count that. He's, he doesn't use your time. The day I found out God doesn't use our time, I started seeking him with all sincerity. There are days you will come and pray for two hours. The way you went into God with all your heart. All you, the Bible says you will seek me and find me. When you seek me, how? That means it is actually a fact that people seek God with half-heartedness. He said, if you seek me with half-heartedness, what will happen? You will not find me. You can only find me when you do so with all of your heart. I put it to you that 90% of us here have not sought God with all their hearts. Go back. Ask God, what does it mean for me to seek you with all my heart? With all my heart. You'll be shocked. You'll be shocked how far away you are from God's standard. That you're actually rating yourself higher than God is rating you. The problem with rating yourself that high is that the years we pass in what you are doing and there will be no significant result and feedback. Is it not true? If you are doing something, there should be feedback. Everybody will not be the same. Everybody will not be the same size. But at least, are you getting what I'm saying? There is a commensurate feedback based on what you are putting in. You will not see it because there is a lot of departures. Departures. When that fasting I told you people yesterday, when I finished it, do you know the reward that God gave me? Guess the reward. Uh, sister, my sister, what's your name? Huh? You will now be my friend. I like the way you are responding to my message. Do you know how God rewarded me? He said, give me a fasted life. That's, how, that's God's reward. <laughs> I finished five days fast. I say, God, I'm here now. Where the oil you drop? He said, fasted life. <laughs> because in the kingdom, the reward for attaining things, for achieving things in the kingdom is more responsibility. If you do it, they, to him that has, more will be given. It's not reduced. I mean, more will be given is not more crowd. It's more fasting, more You know, some people look at me like this, the way things happen and they just see the glory. They don't know the pain. The labor, the pain. I can minister, I can be in meeting for seven days without eating for that seven days. I'm not saying many years ago. You will not know. <laughs> Let's leave that part. Eh? If you want the extraordinary oil, you have to do the extra. The extra is what makes the difference. Brothers and sisters, I'm telling you, normally I don't say this kind of thing. I will just, we will just do revelation. This one I'm telling you now is the key that you need. The extra. And I've seen extra many times in my life. And sometimes those extra will manifest itself in Kairos moments. Many years ago, I think 2012, we were in a pastor's meeting. And then we did all night from night till when it was around four. Of course, I did not sleep before we started. I was so tired, so tired. Everybody has even found their corner and they were sleeping. When I wanted to sleep around the pulpit, suddenly an angel came and tapped me. He said, give me two more hours. See, that two hours that God demanded from me was looking like two years. How many of you, such a thing has happened to you? God just prompted you to add 15 more minutes and it was looking like 15 days. It was looking as if if you add that 30 minutes, you will just die. 
you just managed to reach that point and God said, push more. And he said, tomorrow I will do three days dry. Let me stop here first. As if you are the one holding the measurement. You are saying you will come tomorrow. Are you holding the time? Are you holding the measurement? Who told you if you come tomorrow, the ones you are coming to meet will be there? There is a way you pray and cry. Some people will come down and say, I'm here to hear your prayer. And you left. Many of the times that people, you are praying, worshipping, and then you felt, how many of you, you are prayed, worshipped, or something, you felt some fire, some good people, and you seem as if the anointing came on you. How many of you has happened? That's not the time to stop the prayer. It's, it means you are now welcome. When you feel that thing, that's the time to tarry. Anything you have done before that time is not really, it doesn't really count. What counts is what you started doing at that point that heaven said, they opened the door. There must be one way to tell you that they have opened the door. If I see such door open for me, I will stay there. Sometimes three hours. Sometimes four. Sometimes five. Sometimes six. Sometimes seven. Sometimes eight. Sometimes nine. Sometimes ten. Sometimes eleven. Sometimes twelve. Sometimes, yes, sometimes eighteen hours. <laughs> Why are you rushing? Where are you going? You, where are you going? You leave. God will not live with you. You go. People are seeing only you. They are not seeing God. I will not do that. I will stay. I went for a meeting at Abekuta 2016. When I went there, my friend, I came in the night. Open, started praying, doing some things, praying. I did not open that door from that 10 p.m. I did not open the door. 6 p.m. tomorrow that I was ministering. I did not chat. I did not do anything. I was just praying, preparing, worshiping, studying, praying, preparing, worshiping, studying, praying, preparing. Hmm? If I come out from that kind of meeting, you can't carry me in your car. Hmm? You can't. Why? It is simple. When you stay long in that place, you make a lot of friends that are not humans. <laughs> when you are living, they will tell you, my best friend, why are you leaving me? Say, I'm coming back. I say, Let, let's go together with you. <laughs> so when you enter a meeting, one man will enter a meeting and suddenly the room will be filled. People are there, it was not filled. But one man entered the room now and becomes filled. Let's sit down. Let's sit down. It's, I'm, I'm telling you, it bothered me because I was in a prayer and prophetic conference. Some of you have heard this story. We were worshiping. Hallowed be your name, great and mighty God. Hallowed. I put it to you, you don't know the presence of God yet. That thing you are feeling, cold water will remove it. If they pour you cold water, you become normal. <laughs> Buddha, cold water. That's how we were worshiping. I was feeling something in quote that is the presence of God until the man of God entered. I was privileged to be sitting along this, like something like this. And the man was walking, not necessarily like this, because he was close to the wall. I closed my eyes. I was worshiping. I was ascending. I was in the realms. It's after me, the realms. Yes. Suddenly, the man passed. It seemed as if, it seemed as if an entourage that I cannot number. We are doing, we are passing me. They passed. That presence of God that I was feeling became a joke to what the man entered with. I opened my eyes. Behold, the man has entered. He stood on the pulpit. He did his hands like this. I said, where are the young ministers from Eastern Nigeria? Come here, come here, come here. Stand. Everybody went. I said, no. God, tell me how it works. Don't stop deceiving me. <laughs> Me too, I prayed. Why is nothing happening? Me too, I prayed. 
<laughs> Let's tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. Until I started listening to one message that the son of that man was preached. Because the man doesn't preach that aspect of his life. And many of the reasons why many people don't enter what great men entered is that they don't tell you what made them. They tell you the stories, the big things that God used them to do, but not what, how, how. What you need now is what, how. Say after me, how. How does it happen? How? How can you be shouting and nothing is happening? A man just enters, things start happening. He has not spoken. If you think I'm joking, I will just stand here. I will close my eyes. And then this meeting will turn to another thing. I will not say one word. That's when you will know. It's not by shouting. Should we try it? Yes, sir. No, let's leave it. Let's do this. <laughs> oh! Portacot has an allocation of power. Otakot is hard, but it's one of the cities I'm always most anointed when I come. But before you touch that power, you mostly always break hard. There is a very tough resistance between you and power. But if you can break through it, you will have it. I've seen it. I've seen it. When I came to Uniport, that's when I confirmed it. I was just doing, trying to prepare Suddenly, I saw that the wall was closed. There was no entrance. Just because you enter the campus doesn't mean that the gate opened for you. The question that spirits are ans asking is, how did you manage to enter the campus gate? Because it was never open for you. You enter the physical gate, the gate that allows men to enter. You are still outside. So one of his pastors began to tell us and said that the day he knew what meant the man was the day they invited him for a program. It was their program. They organized it. Those days he said he took place at Epo Ref. There is a place called Epo Ref in UNN. So the man came a day before just like I came in the night because that's where I picked up what I was doing too. He came a day before and entered. When he entered, he locked the door. And the pastor stood by the door and was listening. He was hearing prayer, worship. A lot of things was happening there. When it was 8 p.m. in the night, the night that he came, the pastor knocked at the door. Bum, 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 bum. The man of God inside said, who is it? He said, pastor, it's me. He said, what's the problem? He said, food. The man did not talk. That's how the night passed till morning. By 8 a.m., the pastor came and knocked again. I said, pa, pa, pa. He said, who? He said, Pastor, ah. He said, what's the problem? He said, we brought your breakfast. Pastor did not answer. That's how they continued. By 2 p.m., he knocked. Pa, pa. He said, what? He said, Pastor, your food is ready. He did not answer them anything. He, started, he kept cooking, kept cooking it, kept cooking it. By 6 p.m. in the UNN to Eboref. Huh? He said he want, he en when the man entered, that the best way to explain what entered is like the ark, the ark of God entered inside the vehicle. And, and a human being is supposed to drive the ark. You are supposed to drive an ark. He said he bent down and started begging God to help him to move this man till he reaches the venue. He said he was driving and his body was shaking. Everywhere was vibrating. He was telling God, please, let her be no. Let me just get here and then I will run away. I don't want to tell you the story that we too have seen. He said as soon as the man dropped him, he entered and picked the mic and sang the same song he was singing in the room. He heard him singing in the room. When he sang it, he raised voice. He said, the whole place broke up. People were falling under power everywhere. Blind eyes, deaf ears, cripples were walking. Pastors were falling. All kinds of things was happening. 
He said he stood at the back and was saying, what is this? What is this? What is happening? You are not asking questions. That's why you are the way you are. Ask questions. Ask correct questions. <laughs> okay. Reduce, I want to do something. I have not started preaching actually. This one is appetizer. Amen. So, um, I believe that there are people following us from online too. Uh, people here present and some people that are also following us online. When we started here, there was a place we were using that normally that's always a challenge if you start ministry. So, um, but Somehow, by the miraculous hand of God, God gave us this place. The challenge now is that we have paid halfway and we have not finished paying it. And I want us to finish paying it today. I need a few people that God will touch their hearts to come and join me. So, um, perfect. Pay attention online. Let's see the people both people following us online or present here. Um, you were here in the last one now. Were you here? No, you were not. Not here. Uh -uh. You were here in the last one that I held here. I think around April here. Raise your hand. Let me see. Good. So if you were here, you will notice that we dedicated this place, anointed it. So um, we will need to finish the payment. I think we have gone far halfway. I want us to raise just seven million naira. Actually, the bulk of the first payment we made was given to us by a few people. I'm not sure they are up to three people self. One of the people was following us online and he was so blessed that he gave us something substantial. So, I'm not forcing you to give and I understand that there are students here, so please don't, don't put yourself under unnecessary pressure. But God told me to ask you people and normally I don't make it a culture, but this is a need now. So if you are moved in your heart, following us here or online to give. I don't know how we are going to do it now. If you can give us, whether in millions, in hundreds of thousands, um, Just write it in a piece of paper quickly. Just write your name and write it. If you are following us online, just indicate. Just indicate so that we can quickly pray and go to what we have today. I want to read a scripture for you concerning this matter. Because many things, if there is no scriptural basis for something you are doing, one day, either Satan hijacks it, or it will degenerate to an activity of the flesh. Or men will abuse it. I want somebody to use probably ESV or ASV to read for me Philippians chapter 1, verse 4 and 5. Philippians chapter 1, verse 4 and 5. Okay, give him the mic. Give the person close to you since he's close to you.
ESV. Always in prayer of my for you, all making my prayer with joy. Mm -hmm. Five, because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Is enough. Actually, when you read down to this scripture, the context of this scripture, the context of the partnership that the Apostle Paul was speaking about is material, financial partnership. As a matter of fact, the Philippian church is notorious for one thing. They are notorious for having the capacity to give even beyond their means. Now, I mean that they are not one of the richer churches, yet they are able to give more. And that is why by the time you are getting to chapter 4 and verse 19, Paul was saying there that my God, serve after me, my God. Now, Paul was personalizing it. And um, you need to put it in context because there is a possibility for you to inherit the grace that is in a man's spirit by partnering his work. So you took him personal, so he's taking you personal in the spirit. So if you check the book of Philippians, it's more or so, more so um, uh, an epistle that recognizes the capacity of people to partner God irrespective of their financial, mega financial resources. So you now came to chapter 4, verse 19 and said, my God will supply all your needs according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. So, I believe you have written your name. If you wrote your name and the amount, Okay, let me call you people to come and stand. If you are here and you gave us or you want to give us an amount that is in millions, 500,000 to a million, come and stand. Let me pray for you. Be fast. Come and stand. Let me pray for you. If there is somebody online that indicates, come and stand. Let me pray for you. Okay, if we wait a little, we will accept that the people in this range, I will tell you people a story, but it's after I finished praying, doing this thing so that I will not manipulate you. I will tell you a story when I'm through. So if you can give us from 100,000 to 500,000, or you give us, come and stand too, come and stand. Let's pray for you quickly. Come and stand. God bless you. The law. Have you come to Newy before? You know they try. They try at all. The way you did that time, I thought you were even hungry for God. Though. You are hungry and a fake one. Until I see you at Newy. I'll be waiting for you this 24 hours. I'll be waiting next week. I'll be waiting for you. If you, you are not, I. The way you told me you like prayer at that time, I was waiting for you at the where I did not see. You. Come and join us. Come and join us. Why is there? Why is there no sister here that has enough faith? Why are sisters always? Uh 
Uh-huh. God bless you, sister. You motivate other sisters. It's not as if they don't want to give, but they are waiting for the first person to come and stand. Uh, this one, you people are wearing scepter of righteousness. Did you come to ISC? How do you manage to have... Dennis, I'm going to deal with you. Okay, you got for them. Okay, okay, okay. You were there at Newe. That's good. That's good. If you still want to come, come. I will not promise you that God will give you financial blessing, but I will promise you that God will bless you. Well, I don't know about financial blessing. But for some of you, God will bless you financially. It is nothing to him. I know God enough to know that the least blessing he can actually give you is money. If all God is giving you is money, you are not yet blessed. You are not. That money can go. But if you are blessed, the blessing will keep, will keep bringing money. Keep bringing money. I can tell you. In fact, the grace to pray non-stop for one year can never be bought. I know you don't know that. I know some people don't know that's why they are they will leave Sabo and go and be selling manhood drug. Manhood drug. Where is Pastor Dennis? Why is your member? <laughs> A brother that grown with us in tent now came back to Portacourt. He's now selling. I said, these guys. <laughs> oh my God. I said, these guys, what's happening? Even if you don't believe that prayer is working, at least God raised us. Part of the reason God raised us is to show a generation that prayer still works. If you look at me, you see that prayer still works. And what you see about me is less than half of the story. I is a pastor. Where is Pastor Ebere? So he came around at Nehu. He said, uh-uh. That somebody seeing me will not know that I have this kind of thing or that this kind of thing happened. James, you are aware now. <laughs> that I have this kind of thing. That I don't look it. I look too simple. I'm looking as if there is nothing. The reason because that is not the emphasis. What I want you to see is the spiritual investment. That's how other things come. As long as you can still pray, Satan has not taken anything from you. You can recover ev everything in one, one, just all these things Satan is doing as if he's powerful. One all night. Like one ten to 4 a.m. 10 p.m. to 4 can mess up what Satan has been doing for long. You will see he's not that powerful. When you pray well, one, one correct prayer that God answered can make you get a contract that we dwarf what people have been getting before, since the year started. What is money? Okay, if you can give us from 50,000 to 100,000, join them. Be fast, be fast, be fast. I think all of you should come out at this junction now. Yes. Praise the Lord. In my first encounter with you, that one at, uh, yes, that program was actually for me. Because when I came, I was believing God for a miracle. It has taken six years. In fact, I was believing God for a child for six years. Now, when I came that very day, before I came for that meeting, I had an appointment with the doctors. And they said for consultation alone, it was 50000 So I had the money. Now, when you called us to give, I came out and... I give I, I pledged for a hundred thousand naira. I had a hundred thousand naira for, for the medicals. Now 
the doctors were going to take 50,000 naira for the first installment. So what I did was when I went back, I said, okay, let it not be that. Um, when it's time for me to go for the um, for the consultation, I won't have money to pay. So I paid 50,000 naira and told God that if you do this part for me, I will now pay the balance. Within, it happened in November. That same November, my wife took him and I called pastor and I said, God, please take your money. So the money that I was supposed to go for, I was supposed to use to go for the medical consultation, I now paid for my... For my Somebody clap for Jesus. Should I tell you, God is doing more miracles within this place than you can even imagine. It's just that because this is an apostolic setting, we don't put focus on miracles. That is the weakness of the Pentecostal movement. The weakness of the Pentecostal and charismatic movement is that they place emphasis on people's needs. And when you place emphasis on people's needs, they will not... Act. There, is, there is the need of God and there is the need of people. It's not as if God is averse to your needs. But he said, when you seek the kingdom and its righteousness, what will happen? All these things we follow. It's supposed to follow. Unfortunately, what is supposed to follow is what we are pursuing. Somebody said that a brother met him and said that the reason why he started following me is that he suddenly checked and found out that the things he is pursuing is what is pursuing me. He is pursuing something. The same thing he is pursuing was pursuing me. Actually, in that, that meeting, you know you drove me. Before you came to drive me around two, they told me that uh, they brought a jeep for me from Kotonou, that same meeting. So I went back home to meet a new vet. That meeting was a strong meeting. Okay, let me first pray for the this first set of people. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you to do for them their heart desires according to your will. Do for them their heart desires according to your will. Do for them their heart desires according to your will. Do for them their heart desires according to your will in the name of Jesus. Do for them their heart desires according to your will in the name of Jesus. Do for them their heart desires according to your will in the name of Jesus. Do for them their heart desires according to your will in the name of Jesus. Do for them their heart desires according to your will in the name of Jesus. Do for them their heart desires according to your will in the name of Jesus. Do for them their heart desires according to your will in the name of Jesus. Do for them their heart desires according to your will in the name of Jesus. The three of you hold hands. There is one of you that has a prophetic anointing, very strong one. I want the power of God will locate the person. Now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Each of them. Let your anointing find that prophet now. At the count of three. One, two, three. Strong, stronger, 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 stronger. You are blessed. You can go back. If you want to give us in any, or you gave us in any other category, please stand up. Let's, let's stand up, please. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Even if it's 200 naira you gave us, just stand up. It's, it's, it's big enough. As long as you gave from your heart. Come to the front too. Let's pray together. Oh. 
Sir Josh. <laughs> Ask God for one thing as you are standing here. It's not about the volume of money you brought. It's about, according to the scripture, there is, there is, listen to me, listen before you pray. There is what we call the shekels of the sanctuary. That is where God does, it's like exchange. Have you, have you changed dollar before any kind of money? If you change dollar, you find out that $50 is not the same thing. $50 is not 50 naira, is it not true? Well, I thought they are all currency. It means that there is a $50 that weighs far higher than another 50 naira. You have to go to the exchangers for them to actually tell you the real value of what you are holding in your hand. And that is why Jesus came and said, concerning the woman that gave, he said, this woman gave all. And many times when people give that, do that kind of giving, bro, you be my friend now. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Have I seen you before? Ah. Ah. You are easily recognizable. Ah. Good, good, good. I've been looking at you since, wondering where I've met you. So, and I know there are some people here that are my friends on Facebook. I recognize you in Jesus' name. Amen. If you give that way, like that widow's might, let me tell you, the impact is beyond the person that gave as per the blessing that comes, on, comes for you. If the people you are giving are faithful stewards, of God's financial trust, you will find that that kind of giving will actually is like a miracle because it has beyond, behind it a lot of spiritual resources. The heart, the devotion, the sacrifice behind the giving We make sure that whatever it is put into prospers. And I need to tell you, if there is a place to invest, I was hoping that you will stand. You are looking like I don't know why I like you. This your hair, is it like this? Is it the way God wants you to keep it? Eh? I want us to be friends, but... Dennis, give this guy my number. I want him to be my friend. You have my number? Good. Chat me up. Tell me you are the guy that did dreadlocks. It's good to give in a place like this. Don't give to charlatans. The, let me tell you the truth. You, one way or the other, you will give. Either you give to Satan, to sickness, to charlatans, to you will give. Decide who to give to. Let's pray. Just ask God for one thing in the next one minute. Please, do it from your heart. There are angels taking note here. Please do it. Please do it. It's not as if money can buy anything spiritual. But I tell you, there are some givings that can be converted to something spiritual. There is records in the scripture. Somebody like Cornelius was hoping for an encounter that will change him, change his family. He was the only one that gave. But when God came, he came for a community. Please pray. There is conversion in the spirit. Pray, 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 pray. And if you check in your heart and God is telling you that what you are giving is small, just, just, just follow God. Follow God in your heart. Just follow. Make sure you are obedient. Make sure you obey God exactly what he told you, what he told you to do. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Father, I ask that the blessings of obedience comes upon these ones. In the mighty name of Jesus. I did not hear you, amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm. You see? You see what I'm saying? There is three of you here that is plagued by the spirit of poverty. Let me explain how that spirit works. 
You probably have seen it at work in your father's life, in your family. Let me tell you. If your father has, if, even if two million enters his hand now, huh? before the month end, you cannot explain how that money went. The spirit of poverty is not necessarily is not necessarily that there is lack. Amen? Amen. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Is that even if you have money, you cannot account. If you check from the time the year started, you actually touched money, but you cannot say what you use that money to do. You are under the plague of the spirit of poverty. Such people will work in government, do business for many years. When they finish, they go back to they go back to drinking. There is a spirit on them. You don't achieve things simply because there is money or not. You achieve it because you are helped by a spirit. Oh my God. Let's pray in the next one minute. Though that spirit will be broken over your life. When it's time for you to make progress. Ah. Oh my God. Scammers will come and collect your money. You now start afresh again. <laughs> All the money you have been saving for five years, you just put it into, into the same business, Forex, that is making people get rich. And your own did, you started afresh. People are telling you of how to, uh, We banish that spirit now. Joshua, give me sound. The hand of God will come on three of you as a sign. You will see what will happen when you leave this meeting. There is a power to make wealth. Somebody cry, it's your time now. Fate point, takapati, a palantini. Angels, move her, move her, move her. We are present and online. The hand of God comes to break the chains of darkness, the powers that have stayed for all. Right now, by the Holy Ghost. Has come. Ho oh, oh, oh. My help has come. Ho oh, oh, oh. My help has come. Hi, 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 hi. Ebenezer. Ebenezer. Ay, 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 ay. Ebenezer, my help has come. Thirty more seconds. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. You spirit of poverty lack, I bind you now. Ass, 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 ass. Help them, help them.
it is broken. We release judgment over every power of witchcraft and occultism right now. I decree on my own life. Let the yokes of chains be broken. In Jesus' name. Listen. By the time I'm coming back, and that's the list of the things that God will do. By the time I come back here next year, many of you will be shifted so mightily in finance that it will be. Listen to me. I just. Uh, what I'm talking about is not thousands, it's millions. I see millions being counted. Listen. You don't need to be there now. You don't need any sign at all. For some of you, there will be no rain. There will be no dew. But the ditches will be full of water. Thus said the Lord. Watch out, you will see. If I be a man of God. Hmm. Some of you here don't know what God can do per moment. Through the words of his servant. Listen, the reason. For, this one will be a sign. It will be a sign. Pray for 30 more seconds. Where nobody has been in your family, in your lineage, you are entering there now. Enter, 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 enter by fire. Help that sister. I lose you now from every yoke of darkness, every power of the enemy. I lose you by power, by power, by power, by power. Be loose, be loose. Be loosed, be loosed, be loosed, be loosed, be loosed. A little more, a little more, a little more, a little more, a little more. Angels are distributing packages. Receive your own now. Receive your own now. 
Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Yes, yes, yes. Holy Ghost. Oh. Hey. 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 like him you want to help him you have never you have you don't know him from Adam you don't know him from Adam you look at him and say I like your face I want to help him with something I pray for you that you, the oil of heaven comes upon your life in the name of Jesus listen if you say that amen with all your heart the power of God with this it will happen and many of you, as you are living here, you will see one sign of favor. So, reduce it. We are going to say that amen three times. When you say it, you keep quiet. When you say it, you keep quiet. If I count, you say it. One! Three. 
Receive it now. 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 Inside, outside, overflow. Listen to me, brothers and sisters. Speed is an anointing. There's a difference between speed and being in a hurry. I'm not saying being in a hurry. It's either you are, speed means that you are at pace with your destiny. You are, you are just as fast as you should be. There is also a spirit of delay. Listen to me. I will show you now. Hmm? Wherever you are, lift up your hands. You will see. There are many people, sisters, they are due for marriage, they have not married. It's spirit of delay. There are pastors, their ministry is in one place. It's spirit of stagnation. It's not moving, nothing is happening. Father, in the name of Jesus, inside, outside, anybody here, people standing outside, that is under the yoke of the spirit of delay or stagnation, let that yoke be broken now by power, by power, by power. I want you to shout amen three times and then be quiet. One, two, ready, go. One. Two. Be quiet now, be quiet. Father, find them. Now, now, you spirit of delay. Loose them, stagnation, loose them. Now, 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 now. Holy Ghost, by fire. You can't bind them. Begin to make progress from today. 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 Stagnation. That stagnation. That covering cast is removed. Jesus. The fire is burning it. Fire is burning it. It's burning it. It's burning it. It's burning it. People will begin to see you from today. Anything that is covering you. Covering your glory. Your shining. Your season. My God. Fire! Help that young man. Inside, outside. Fire, 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 fire. Yes, that's it. That's it. That's it. God is working now. He's working. 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 There is somebody standing outside. Outside, not at the overflow. Outside. Outside. Oh my God. The hand of God is locating you there now. He's locating you there now. The kind of speed you will have after now. You are delivered. 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 In the name of Jesus. Listen. You will make progress from now. Whatever you find yourself to do. In your business, in your ministry, in your career. I 
release upon this congregation, inside, outside, overflow. Wherever you are standing now, online, the anointing for speed, you will make advancements. In the place of stagnation, you will advance, you will break camp and advance. That anointing will descend now. We descend now as a sign, as a sign on three people from inside to outside, from inside to outside, from inside to outside, from inside to outside. Let it come, 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 let it come. Speed is an anointing. Receive it now, receive it now, receive it now, receive it now, receive it now. Oh my God. Some of you, it will begin to make you to run. It will, it will seem as if the person, you are running, you are running, you are running. It's speed. Speed on your feet. In Jesus' mighty name, you can be seated. Matthew chapter 10. Can you see me here? Listen. Listen. There are some people here that is under the yoke of witchcraft. Come out of the way. The people that came out from inside, go back. Go back. Go back. Please go back. Listen. Go back. Go back. I don't like these people on the air. Clear the air. Clear the air. There are people here under the spell of witchcraft. Hold the hands of your neighbor. Pray. Now listen. The power of God is going to hit you now. Very strong. You are going to live here a totally free and a See, you can do ministry, live life under witchcraft. You don't even know. Hold the hands of your neighbor. Pray for the next one minute. Pray deep. Say, Lord, everything that is a yoke from darkness that is limiting me, right now, right now, I receive the ministry of the power of God. Some of you, angels, will travel to your village, to your family house. Family deliverance is happening. Oh, outside here now there is a there are some people the power of God is coming on you now once you pray it comes us as I want to see them power us as bring them for me I lose you now I lose you now I lose you now I lose you now Jesus Pray, 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 pray. It's coming. Pray, 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 pray. It's breaking now. It's breaking now. It's breaking now. Us has bring them. I want to pray for them. There is fire here. 
the fire of deliverance. Jesus. We are the ushers. Stop standing. Loose. 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 There is a young man. The fire is coming. Stronger. Oh man. Oh man. Receive the fire. Receive the fire. Receive the fire. 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 Fire now. Fire. Fire. Hey. We consecrate this place as a Holy Ghost home. Help that young man there. Bring them, bring them, bring them forward, bring them. Oh my God. Go and be an usher. Go and be an usher. Go and be an usher. Bring them. Bring them for me. We release the fire of deliverance. If you are inside, make sure you are praying. It's coming to you. Oh my God. If you are online, there is no distance. Jesus. 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 Holy Ghost. Let the angels walk on them. 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 Your help has come. The answer has come. Your deliverance is here. Your deliverance is here. Your freedom. Liberty. 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 Help the sister. Help the sisters. Help them. Help them. Help them. Liberty. 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 Hey. 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 Help the young man. My help has come. My help has come. Hey. I feel a Yes, 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 help them, help them, help them, help them, help them, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Fire! Oh, oh, oh. My help has come. There is a woman here. God is sending help now. You came here crying. When we go, remember you and your family. God is sending help now. He's sending help. He's coming. 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 Oh my God. Keep praying. Keep praying. There is a war going on. Ah, my help has come. Oh, oh, oh. oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Don't leave that young man behind. Don't leave him behind. Hear his prayer. Hear his prayer. You are praying. God is hearing you now. Hear them. Hear them. Hear them. Hear them. Hear them. Hear them. Oh God. Hear them. Hear them now. Hear them now. Ha 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 
Elijah, that is what, that is what. Aha, where are the sisters? There is fire here, 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 there is fire, fire, fire. Help the sister. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Jesus. Ah, ah, ah. It's coming to you now. It's coming. Don't lose focus. It's coming. 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 One more minute. There is a man under the sound of my voice. God is coming to you now. Pray a little more. He's coming to you now. He's coming. 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 Jesus, 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 Jesus. Receive a shift. Receive a shift now. 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 
Now, 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 now. Holy Ghost. 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 If you are inside, cry, cry. Don't pray, cry. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. The breaker is inside here now. It's inside this hall. It's inside this hall. It's inside this hall. It's inside this hall. It's inside. It's inside. It's inside. It's inside. Ushers, bring them for me. Bring them to this front. We consecrate this place. It's okay, it's okay. Call that brother, it's okay. If you're inside there, pray. Pray for one minute. If you are inside here, if you are come to one, you shout fire. The breaker is here. One, two, three, four. Yes, yes, everywhere. Holy Ghost. Five. Locate them. Locate them, Holy Ghost. Locate them with your fire, with your fire, with your fire. Deliverance fire. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hold it for her. Hold it for her. Asali Barahamata. Wapai. Sali. Ikapari Antala. Aqua. Palatayas. Ia Palacate. Teos. Jesus. It's coming for you now. It's coming. 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 Seven.
Hey! 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 Before you get home, you will hear news. Between now and the end of the year, something impossible will happen in your family. You will hear it. You will hear it. It will not fail. We deploy the power of God to your life. We deploy the power of God to your destiny. We deploy the power to your family. We deploy power to your ministry. We deploy power to your business. Right now. Right now. Right now. Power. The power of the Holy Ghost. Go to work. Power. Go to work. Power. Go to work. Power. Jesus mighty name you can be seated Matthew chapter 10 I want somebody that can quickly read for me
you, you are going back with two or three, four, five angels. Those angels will not leave you until that work is finished. It's a high service. Elijah. Jesus, Jesus.
my hearing you will see the place. Will you see the place? Let me hear you. Will you see the place? Let your voice thunder. Will you see the place?
Where is Odinaka? Run here. Where is my sister? Run fast. Run. There is fresh oil for you. The two of you, come and stand here. Come and stand here. The Lord wants to increase your prayer ministry now. There is fresh authority. Stand here. Stand here. Join your hands together. Lift up your hands. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me, young man. Such as I have. Increase in rank. Push! Let your rod board. Let it 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 board. This same horn of prayer. This thing is a horn now. At this realm now, you when you pray, people pray because you are praying. It's beyond being prayerful. If you want to participate in this, just, just ask God to give it to you in the next one minute now. As you are praying, it will come on you. If what came on them is genuine, it's coming on you now. This meeting is going to fall. In Jesus' name, listen, listen. Jesus, be seated. Matthew chapter 10. Join me. Join me in five minutes. Matthew chapter 10. Where is that young man reading for me? Read for me Matthew chapter 10. Sit, be seated in the name of Jesus. Open your Bible. If you, are sit, if you are outside, you can be seated now. Matthew chapter 10. Read for me. Verse 1. I'm going to read three scriptures. If you are there, say amen. amen. Just be checking your time. Once, Oga, don't give him more. Huh. I don't want to say something. When you come to Newa, we tell you. The way I'm looking at you, you don't have plans of. Is next year you told me you are coming now? March. You are not a serious man. Um, when you come, by that time, um, Justice and Dennis, they would have gotten house outside of Sabo, so you will live with them. He's going to live with you. <laughs> Precious Okafor, why are you laughing at me? Okay, read, young man, read. And when he had called unto him his twelve disciples. If, if you are with me, say amen. amen. Okay, continue. He gave them power against unclean spirits. That sister, are you are you from Portacourt? Is he from Portacourt? You normally come. Okay, con, con, read again, please. And when he had called unto him his Watch twelve oh, disciples, and when he had called unto him his di twelve disciples, uh -huh. he gave them power against unclean spirits uh -huh. to cast them out uh -huh. and to heal all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases. How many kinds of sicknesses? How how many kinds of diseases? Read for me Matthew, the same Matthew chapter seventeen. You can be seated, please be seated. Huh? Maybe the people behind you want to see my face. So just for their sake. I know we'll probably stand again, but for this moment, let's... let's but I understand. I understand. Instead of sitting and your destiny sat with you, why not stand? There are some things that are taught, some others are caught. And sometimes for you to catch something, you have to posture yourself. It's a, it's a hard posture, but sometimes it, it affects your body too.
Matthew 17, verse 21. How be it this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting? Um, maybe start from verse 19 so that they will see. Then came the disciples to Jesus. If you are there, say amen. amen. You are not there, but you said amen. Hi, on a day live for church. If you are there, say amen. amen. The guy still said amen again, but he is not there. If you are not there, say wait for us. Okay, read. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart. Okay. And said, why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. For verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. How be it this kind goeth not out but by fasting and prayer? This is the second scripture. Let's look at the third. Luke chapter 24. Verse 49, Luke 24, 49. And behold, I send the promise of my father upon you. But that ye in the city of Jerusalem, until ye be endued with power from on high. I want to ask, which power is Jesus talking about again? I thought he gave them power in the book of Matthew chapter 10. Jesus gave his disciples power in the book of Matthew chapter 10. Only for them to come to the book of Matthew chapter 17. To realize that that power cannot do many things. There are a few things he can do. Huh? But even with somebody falling down in your meeting. You went somewhere to, you went somewhere to sleep and when you slept in the night, they now heard your neck. And we are trying to say Jesus. We are saying G, 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 G. With all your Holy Ghost and your anointing, you wake up in the morning and they use the razor blade to cut your body. With all your Holy Ghost. Tell yourself the truth. You need to tarry. That's why I'm taking you to Luke chapter 24, verse 49. You have to put it in context. He said, I've given you power over all. Satan is not aware that Jesus gave you power. That's the problem. Listen, you, you have to get my message this night. Huh? Your identity in God is a spiritual fact. Your riches in Christ is a spiritual fact. The investment of the spirit is a spiritual fact. So, first of all, the first question you ask yourself is what is a spiritual fact? You see, just because, just the way... I come and meet this man. Stand up, stand up. Sorry. For, if you look at this guy now, is he not a man? Yes. Physically looking at him, there are facts to prove that he is a man. And there are evidences to that effect. You can be seated down. That means that him being a man is not a statement only. It is a statement of what? Fact. The statements are not just things we packed up together so that it will seem as if we are saying something. It is fact. We are representing fact in our statement. Just as what is said in natural is a natural fact. In the same way, there are spiritual facts. And just as the evidences that you bring in court sessions as a proof that something is correct is derived from facts. That is why when you come to a court, they will ask you that this is a court of facts. That we are not here for emotions. That the man that produces more facts will win the case. Is it not true? In the same way, in spiritual transactions, a man wins his cases when he brings arguments based on spiritual what? Facts. So it is spiritual facts that, that is the foundation, the building blocks of spiritual arguments legal arguments in the spirit and I need to tell you if you have been an intercessor for a while you will understand 
that the intercessory ministry is like somebody coming to a court session in the spirit. And many times when you appear in that court, according as the scripture, even God calls you to come and argue cases with him. Huh? Yes. God calls men to come and argue cases with him. He will tell you, when you produce enough evidence, you win, take the case. So many times they sit in heaven and the things you are asking for, they are asking, are you worthy to carry it? God is saying, produce evidence. Produce evidence and you will carry it. One day I came in the spirit and there was a throne that was set and they said, somebody will sit on this throne. And I appeared there. I said, Lord, put me on the throne. They said, where is your evidence? How dare you just open your mouth and say that this is you me? Do you think you are the only person praying that prayer? Half of the people in this hall is crying for the same thing. Why should we give it to you? What are the spiritual facts? What is the history that you have created with God in the spirit? Enough to compel them. Listen. Listen to me. I was in a fast. You probably have heard the story. After three days fast, I was fasting, but we are going to court. After three days fasting, they told me you have no one. I'm telling you, it was literal. I came to that court. I saw some people on my side and some others. They are not on my side. That's when I understood what it means to have friends in heaven. There are angels that are your friends. There are spirits of just men made for perfect that want you to succeed. Yes. There are such men like that. One day I encountered a serious spiritual warfare and the thing weighed me down. And I, in the spirit, I just stayed like this. With my weapon, I was bent. I needed an encouragement. Suddenly a general appeared in that dream and he tapped me on the shoulder. He said, son, be strong. I rose from that dream. I woke up. I knew that I'd be mounted with a fresh energy. Uh, I came with a fresh power because I knew that I also have friends in that realm. Many of them want me to succeed. That's why we pray and do many things we do. Things don't just happen. When you see a man functioning in something, there are facts that he produced as evidences in courts of heaven that made verdict to come on his behalf. So when you have won a verdict in the spirit, that man comes in the physical. What we do when we come to meetings is to enforce the verdicts that we received in the secret place. A man just appears, no verdicts, and you are trying to enforce. Huh? You enforce only what you have received. Oh, secret place. I stay there. I stay. devil listen to me in case you don't know 
Jesus, okay, take for example the temptation of Jesus. When Satan came and met Jesus, what did he tell Jesus? He said, if you are what? You didn't get the joke. I want to ask, before Satan asked Jesus if you are the son of God, is Jesus the son of God? Was he the question that made him the son of God? So you see that the identity of Jesus is a spiritual fact. Yet demons don't care. Satan doesn't care that you are the son of God. You are bought by the blood. You are seated in heavenly places. When they slap you, when they slap you, you go and tarry. Don't wait till they slap you. He said, if you are the son of God, it's like he's saying, I was moving on the street of, of Patakot. I was walking around the street of Choba. And I came and heard that there is a young man that he's saying he's the son of God that is raised as somebody to bring down the power of Satan. He said, are you the one? When you wanted to open your mouth, they slap you. He said, ah, bah, bah, whoa. We heard a story that we came to confirm it. Whether what we heard is true, eh? the claims you are making, have you downloaded the comment to carry it? Listen to me. Listen. I was doing you service. You have heard the story. One day I woke up in the night. Listen, you know, I've been fasting 72 days. You will tarry. I was on a 72 days fast when I entered the family house I prayed for some time prayed for some time I woke up in the night and said I am in charge of this territory now that's when I knew that Satan is jealous for territories I have tried to cast out some devils sometimes and the demon is telling me I will not go the reason why they are saying they will not go is that they don't want to live where they are living Satan is jealous of the fact that he has bound you for years. He doesn't want to leave you like that. That's why you too have to be brutal. That thing that Satan did to you is doing in your family. He has done it for many, many years. And you just wake up and you are just telling him, go, go. If you are the one, will you go? Why, would, why do you want to just be telling Satan, please go? Why did I do to you? Why is my own this bad? Hey God, where will you see? Stand up from that place. You are an eagle. You are not a chicken. Eagles fly. They fly. They fly. Oh, eagle, fly, 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 fly. Eagle fly. Eagle fly. If you're an eagle, it's time to fly. It's time to fly. It's time to fly. Eagle, it's time. It's time. It's time. Your chains are broken. Your limitations are broken. It's time to fly. Stop playing with chickens. You're an eagle. Stop playing with chickens. You're an eagle. Stop playing. Oh my God. Oh my God. Listen to me. Listen. Listen, the only reason why the only reason why eagle is contending with snakes, serpents and scorpions is simply because the eagle refused to fly. There are certain demons that will lose their grip on you, James. Once you begin to ascend, ascend highs inside. I ascend. I ascend. I ascend. I ascend. James, I ascend. James, I ascend. I ascend. I refuse to live in the low places. James, I ascend. James, I ascend. I ascend the hills of God, the place of power.
Sí.
Listen. Listen to Jesus. If you are inside this hall, the glory of God is about to come upon you. You desire a fresh grace, unction, and endowment of God to come upon your life. Come to the front, join your hands. Don't come to God, it's enough. It's enough, it's enough. If you're outside, wait, I'm coming. As you are here, keep praying. If I notice you are not praying, I will send you back. Drop this glory into you. Make sure that you are a witness of this meeting. You. Descend. To the back, descend. Jesus. Listen. Just the keep on. At the count of three, the glory of God will descend on you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? One. Father, let your glory descend from the front to the back. Let it be very strong. Two is coming now. you to look upon these hungry hearts. Look upon them, oh God. Look upon them, oh God. Look upon them. Let your glory come. Three. Fire. 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 Say amen. At the count of three, you shall fire. Are you ready? Lift up your hands. Join it with your neighbor. One. Join your hands with your neighbor. Stand where you are. Stand where you are. Father, touch me. One. Two. That's the fire of the Holy Ghost. That's the fire. 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 Holy Ghost.
Listen, listen. The fire is still coming. Lose the hands of your neighbor. Lose the hands of your neighbor. Leave your neighbor. Father, as I pass, I ask you to touch them with your presence and glory. Touch them. Jesus, touch them. 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 Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost.
touch, 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 touch. Jesus, you shout amen at the top of your voice. In the name of Jesus. Every sickness, affliction, demon that is in this place, you are living now. At the shout of amen, you are going forever. In the name of Jesus. Somebody, you are having migraine, splitting headache. It is going now in the name of Jesus. There is somebody here, you are having backstroke shoulder pain. Backstroke shoulder pain. It is going now in the name of Jesus. Shoulder pain, go. Back pain, go. Waist pain, go. Chest pain, go. Leg pain, go. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of paralysis. I, I bind every spirit of insanity. I, somebody, either here online, you are being affected sometimes. Your mind is not together. Oh my God. I bind that spirit now. Out! You are healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. If you came here with crutches, I command the healing power of God to come upon you. Now, 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 in the name of Jesus. Now listen, it is a little. I 
want to take five testimonies. Rush out because there is a lot of people online. If we have testimonies, precious or careful, quickly bring it. Five te- if you notice that God has healed you, come here, sister. Come, come. Move to this side. Meet Pastor Dennis. Come here quickly. Check quickly. One of the ways to keep your healing is to testify. One of the ways to learn how to heal the sick is to watch testimonies of healing. That's one sure way. One sure way. Five. And there we go. Sister, come here. Come here quickly. Come here quickly. I need another person there. sister here said that she was healed that before now she had ulcer uh-huh. and there's this hotness in her stomach because okay. of that and then her chest um, chest pain okay but while you were praying that she felt something came on her and then everything disappeared listen there is somebody here listen i'm coming there is an outstanding miracle here there is somebody here either here or listening to me something outstanding happened to you let me tell you what it is you reduce in size check yourself. If you are a man, then your trouser will become loose. If you are a woman, check your, check your waistline. Everything that Satan and demons has used to protrude you, we leak them out. We command you sound in the name of Jesus. So what happened now? She said even this semester she has not been able to attend six classes hmm. because of health issues. That, but now that she's feeling whole, can somebody clap for Jesus? Come, come. Every demon of infirmity that is feasting on you. Out! Daddy, there's a powerful testimony here. Come up, what happened? This my sister said she came here with blood spots. Okay. And, and bleeding. That, but as you prayed, that she noticed that everything stopped. Blood spots and bleeding healed in the name of Jesus. Can somebody clap for Jesus? Healings are taking place everywhere. They are happening. And the God healed this my sister here from Osa of 12 years. Osa of 12 years. Yes, as she said before she came here that she was feeling the pain, everything. Okay. That when you said that there is somebody here that is being healed of Osa, that she lifted up her hands and fell under power. When she stood up, she cannot. The demon has left. Somebody clap for Jesus. You are not clapping. Some of these people outside. It's not a man doing it, it's God. Come, come, my sister. Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. Help, help her, help her. What Daddy, happened? What happened? That is so much healing here. Okay. Ulcer, migraine, Wait. chest pain. Ulcer one, migraine, two, chest pain, three, many kinds of healing. Can somebody clap for Jesus? Sore throat. Sore throat. Only As you pray, the power of God came on her. She can't feel any of them anymore. Listen, from today, it's not just that God healed you. You will begin to minister him. Jesus. What happened? What happened? Daddy, this my brother here said that after his program yesterday, okay. he was trying to return the chairs and it seemed as if his bone shifted. Uh. That all of his body began to pain him. Uh-uh. But why you prayed now that everything disappeared? What can't you do before that you can do now? Yeah. Can somebody clap for Jesus? Listen to me. Let me tell you. Wait, I'm coming. Sometimes when your waist shifted, it was not a natural thing that happened. It's demons that shifted your waist. Stop taking painkillers. What you need is healing. Come, come, come. Daddy, also of five years. Also of five years. He said that when he went Listen. for test. Listen. God gave me a key and said, go and give your generation. Should I tell you the key? I asked him, what is the name of the key? He said that the name of the key is the key of the secret place. Prayer is labor, but prayer is enjoyment too. Fasting is labor, but you can enjoy fasting. This Bible study is discipline, but you can enjoy it. When you are plagued with ulcer, it is directly an attack on your secret place. Is it not true? Let me tell you, just because you have ulcer, you cannot fast, has not exempted you from the demand of fasting that is riding upon your destiny. Listen to me. 
receive grace from the secret place in the name of Jesus. That the ulcer of five years. Ulcer of five years. As you pray, he said he does not feel the pain anymore. Come, come. Can you clap for Jesus? Another mighty miracle, daddy. He said he came here with glasses. That when he was small, he had a knife as he You came here eyes. with glasses. He where could not look at the light. Where is what? the glasses? One of the ushers. Where is his glasses? Bring the let's see. Bring the glasses. Let's confirm. Clap for Jesus wherever you are. Oh my God. This is the glasses. Oh my God. This is your glasses. What can't you do before? Give him the mic. Let me. I was Wait, from, let me hear him. I was running from photocopia. You are so, what? From photocopia. Photophobia. Yeah, the, uh, sun reflection. Sun reflection. I can't look at on the light. You can't look at the light. But but you are now healed. Look at this light. Let me see. Can somebody clap for Jesus? Listen, Jesus can heal you from photophobia. What happened? Daddy, God is angry with every stomach pain and ulcer this evening. God is angry with stomach pain and ulcer. Yes, Daddy. Serve to me. God is angry with stomach issues and ulcer. He wants you to fast. No, change it like this. He wants me to fast. What happened? Daddy, she said since last year, she uh -huh. Left part of her stomach. Okay. That when you said there is healing here, yes. that immediately the thing left. Can you clap for Jesus? Tell that guy, clap. Uh -huh. Clap. Clap well. Tell the guy, uh -huh. clap. Clap for Jesus, not me. Uh -huh. Come, come, come. Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. Put your hands up. Come, 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 come. Put your hand like this. Elohim is here with us. We are not standing alone. Elohim is here with us. It is fine to you. We are not standing alone. Elohim. Okay. Daddy, for one year, Osa pain. She can't fast. She can't pray. But as we were talking, as we were praying for her, she said the pain disappeared immediately. Try. No more pain. No more pain. Somebody no pray Jesus. Come, come, come. Forever. He's gone. He's gone. What happened? Daddy, the spirit of deafness is powerless. What? He said that he has been partially deaf in, the, in this left ear. The left ear? Yes, partially deaf for how long? Let me hear him. Let me, he was born. let me hear him. Since, was born. since you were born, yes, you were partially deaf on the left ear. So what happened now? I can now hear. I can't stand before him in the sound. I can't hear sound and stay. Most times it's weird in my ear and I cannot hear anything. So but now you are standing. Yes. Somebody clap for Jesus. He was partially deaf. Listen. Listen. He was partially deaf on my ear. Since birth. Since birth, I tell you, God can heal even congenital sicknesses. It doesn't matter whether you have carried disease, you are poor. You are healed now in the name of Jesus. I say you are healed in the name of Jesus. I say your mother, your father, your sister, your children, they are healed in the name of Jesus. You are following us online. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Jesus, what happened? That is something mighty is happening. He said he has been having heart palpitations since he was a child. How palpitation? Heart since you were a child. He, he can't let me hear him. Let me hear him. My, my dad told me that when I was born. Reduce a little. Let me hear him. My dad told me that when I was born, that heart had palpitations. Okay. Last, last week, there was a hole in my heart. Yes. That I, I, I was. Can you hear him? I was under medication. Can you hear him? Okay, continue. I was under medication for some for some time. Okay. I was going to die. Okay. So I could 
not run. If I hold my breath like this, I have like a cut in, in my chest. Yes. Can somebody clap for Jesus? No pain. Did you hear his testimony? From child. clap for Jesus. I pray for you. Everything wrong with you that is as a result of the arrow of the enemy of witchcraft, that arrow is uprooted right now in the name of Jesus. What happened? Daddy, this brother said that he had um, severe headache and then... The way he fell like this... What is sickness and looking for neck, your body? Neck pain. Let me tell you, <laughs> brothers and sisters, say after me, the devil is a wicked devil. He did not say it well. Say after me, the devil is a wicked devil. See, brother, that way you are handsome. Satan doesn't care. That way you need power. If you want to keep being handsome, you need to be anointed. If not, one day Satan will disfigure you and they will say, ah, that young man, if you know the way he was intelligent, I, have, I don't want to be. Have you not noticed that when you pray for long, you suddenly become handsome? <laughs> Listen, I did not get to preach that part. Any sister that refuses to pray is ugly. Go and tell them I said so. That sister doesn't want to believe me. Do you know what? There is a glory that comes on you when you pray. That's the real beauty. Stop looking for makeup. Stop, stop running around. People don't marry you because of that thing you are putting on and the wig. They marry you because you are clothed with the glory of God. When those guys look at you, they can't resist you. Just like there are ladies that guys are flocking around. They are not beautiful. But they are flocking around them. Why? They have this aura around them that draws guys to them. The same way you can carry it as a young lady. You will see beautiful people going from one prayer house to another. Praying for husband. You will be telling, Who, which one should I choose? Oh God. Why? You are carrying something. Huh? Nobody wants to marry liability. Every sister that prays well is an investment package. Yes. You, you are looking, you don't, you are looking for what is not looking for you. Some of you guys, you are looking for what is not looking for you. You are looking for what is not looking for you. They will finish you. <laughs> so what happened? That he came with neck pain. He uh -huh. came with his neck. But now, everything move it, let me see, move it. sore throat, neck pain, everything disappeared. Come, 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 come. Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. What happened? Daddy, her first testimony was that that for two years now she has been having cancer. Uh -huh. And then the, even before she came here, the pain was there. Okay. But while you prayed, that the thing is disappearing. Okay. Then just this last, as we were praying for him now, concerning the neck pain, uh -huh. she said she just realized that her back pain too has disappeared. Wait, let me tell you, in case you don't know, there are many of you that is already healed, you have not realized it. Why? You are used to nothing happen. You are calling it your own. There is a sister I met, he said, that's my ash. I said, ah, so the asthma is your own. 
Is the ash now your own? Your healing is permanent in the name of Jesus. Bring her here. A testimony online okay from Scotland Victoria say I'm healed of back and shoulder pain thank you Jesus can somebody clap for Jesus listen let me bless you hello is here with us this is a high service I will prophesy over your life and you will go back and function with it I want to give you a prophetic push Give you a prophetic push straight forth your hands over this prayer point. Let us pray for the next one minute. Let me hear your voice cry out. Jesus Christ. I command it to cease in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever be your request, your prayer point, let it be answered now in the name of Jesus. Whatever trouble, challenge you left back in the name of Jesus Christ, we command it to be solved right now in the name of Jesus. We give you a push in your life, destiny, ministry, finance, family, right now. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. You can be seated. Elohim is here with us. Elohim is Listen to me. Listen. The 
last major program we have at our headquarters at Newe is 24 hours with Jesus. You need to be there. Everything you know is just a story until you come there. So I came and told me, I said, do you pray throughout or do you do other things? What was the answer to that question? Come and see. Come and see. When you are here, 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 listen. Dennis, make bus available for people. 16th, 16th of December. I want to see Potakot. Let's baptize them. Let's, let's baptize them into this thing. I want demonic sieges and hope to break out of Potakot. Before the next two, three years. When we have many people praying like me, don't you think it will become easier? If it's only me, the work will be too much. Receive, this, receive the same grace in prayer in the name of Jesus. I said, receive the same grace. spirit that is on you. The grace, the spirit of grace and supplication, the spirit of groaning, travail. The spirit of prayer, it keeps you there. No need to come forward, don't worry. Whether you are inside or outside, let the spirit be released, fresh, fresh, such as I have. I give to you, I give to you. I give to you. I give to you. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Online. Outside. Inside. Outside. Left. Right. Receive it now. 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 Yes. told us he told us last week he said that what you have gotten is not yet yours until you are able to cook it are you with me are you with me so don't just go and relax that in which you have gotten we need to cook it together so on the 16th there will be a bus here that will be leaving from this place as i'm talking to you now we have over 10 buses that will be leaving from here and our target is to bring more than 20 buses to navy so if you want to be part of the persons that will be going from this place, this is our meeting point. You need to take the number if you are with your phone. What is your account details? In case there are people that pledge to give online or here. Uh, yes, okay, they have showed it online. Let me call it out here. Zenith Bank. 
Let me come again. Revival Hub Ministries International. Port Harcourt. 122-644-1079. Zenith Bank. Dollar account. Revival, the same Revival Hub Ministries International. Zenith Bank. 5073 eight four seven nine six nine five zero seven three eight four seven nine six nine five zero seven three eight four seven nine six nine consigning the daddy thank you so much sir. consigning the 24 hours you need to contact us very fast because last time last time some persons had to come by themselves but if we all go together, it is easier for you and it is safer for you and it is faster for you. So, and cheaper for you. Yes, daddy. So you need to take this number now. Contact the number and join us. We have a WhatsApp group. Everybody, so that where you get all information. I'm calling the number now. 070-13-80-2171. I repeat. 070-13-80-2171. 802171. I call again 070 13802171. I call for the last time 070 13802171. God bless you. We this is our meeting point here in Port Harcourt. We meet here every Friday. And every Sunday, Friday by 4 p.m., Sunday by 3 p.m. That is one of the Saturdays when your brother visited us. We were that day. I told you that I told you thank you for the opening service. Somebody walked in and then said, Please excuse me, I want to ask a question. Say, What is this place? Say, What's happening here? Is here a mountain? That only what she is hearing every time is prayer. Prayer. That is here a place where people come uh, during the weekend to camp and fast. I told her, I told her, he said, apart from prayer, what do we do? I said, we pray and then we study the word. So anytime you come, anywhere that says it's revival hope and you come and there's no prayer, it's not revival hope. We pray first before we do any other thing. Prayer first. Are you with me? Are you with me? So we meet every Friday by 4 p.m. By 4 p.m. and every Sunday by 3 p.m. We also have in a meeting, we also have a meeting center in Omok. And we meet every Saturday by 12. Number one, the venue, number one creek in the road, Omok, on Elga. God bless you all. We have in our campuses, there are people, our, our members decided to be meeting and praying every day. Every day, every day. So, in UST, we have people that are praying every day. In Uniports, we have people that are praying every day. What are you doing? Why not just join us and then we pray? Keep the fire burning. Are you with me? Are you with me? God bless you all. Daddy, thank you so much. Please join me. Celebrate my father in the Lord. Yes. Daddy, thank you so much. We meet again this Friday. God bless you all.